A breath of fresh crypto. Breath is a new kind of mining rig. It generates Monero based on how fast you breathe in. It uses spirometry, a medical technique for measuring lung capacity, to convert breathing into computational processing speed. User's breath doesn't power the computer, but it does determine the computer's hash rate. This defines how much Monero can be mined. One puff per second generates 1,000 hashing operations per second. Not much compared to the Monero network's total 500 million hashes per second. It has made a grand total of less than a dollar so far. But it is not about the money for Max Dovey, the artist behind the project. Turning the act of breathing into an active miner on the blockchain network encourages us to consider more sustainable and psychological methods to maintain blockchains. Japan's Virtual Currency Girls There is now a Japanese pop idol group that exists only to promote and educate on all things Bitcoin. The Virtual Currency Girls are an 8-piece J-pop band dressed in French freely made outfits. Each member is meant to represent a different form of cryptocurrency. Tickets and merchandise for the group can only be bought using Bitcoin. Their first single, The Moon, Cryptocurrency, and Me, includes the lyrics, Be careful about your password, don't use the same one. Only 20 people were at their first Virtual Currency Girl concert in Tokyo. But, like Bitcoin, it might be wise to invest early before they blow up. John McAfee loves Bitcoin long time. John McAfee has caused outrage online again, this time by paying for sex workers with cryptocurrency. So much hubbub around my admission to paying hookers with crypto. If you want more reason to hate, I will also admit to buying weed and other illegal drugs. Oh, and porn. At 72, McAfee shows no signs of slowing down or shutting up. The Bitcoin Dominatrix. Let's take a walk on the wild side into the world of financial domination. Where men, otherwise known as pay pigs, transfer small to large sums of money or tributes to women just to be ignored or shamed. Introducing Theodora, an elite financial dominatrix. She accepts tributes in cryptocurrency as well as dedicating a section of her website to mine for her. It can be difficult for sex workers to get access to bank accounts or mortgages, so Bitcoin is perfect for women like Theodora. I hope my story serves as an eye-opener and to challenge the preconceived idea that sex workers can't be accomplished, intelligent businesswomen, Theodora said. Bitcoin is the economic Wild West. In the real Wild West, the sex industry was booming. Theodora, modern businesswoman in the world's oldest profession.